Straight piped one. <laughs> I'll go round the back. <laughs> this is kind of awkward because my friends are in a Ferrari and a Cobra, and then I'm literally in a 7 Series. I didn't really think about this moment. Get one more in, get one more in. One more, one more. <laughs> everyone and uh, welcome to a bonus video this is something um, very last minute that I was only invited to uh, last night and can I just say it's mid-April and it's snowing and then look instantly put it into reverse quietens it down a little bit and I actually you know what I can't see where I'm going because I haven't cleared the uh, we'll just wing it it's uh yeah it's one degree and it's we're mid-april we're mid-april it's snowing it's one degree and i think the forecast today was pretty average 13 degrees and sunny so what's got i think the end of the world is here could it be because i've been driving this around like to the shops and stuff have i actually altered the global climate can't say i haven't today then uh, it's going to be quite an unlikely sort of convoy of cars. I'm meeting up with my uh, friend Zach from Zach's Garage and my friend Adam from the channel Adam C. As uh, well, today I think we're going to some sort of photo shoot. Zach invited me uh, along and I thought, well, look, Zach's going to be driving uh, down in Ferrari 488 Pista. Adam is going to be in his Dax Cobra and I'm in the 7 Series which still has the straight piped V12 as you guys know. So it's just a, got a sort of classic two-seater uh, roadster, a uh, mid-engine supercar in the Pista, and then this. sitting in the middle lane and what it means is that I then have to be in lane three on the outside when really I should just be in lane two because they should be in lane one. It move, it, it, you basically lose 33% in a three lane situation of the, the, the carriageway's capacity and it's simply because I think people are not educated in this country to just move over when they're not overtaking. But look, lane hogging's annoying, right? But what really gets me is just, like I say, it's just the 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 way it actually clogs up our roads so much. And yeah, they're trying to crack down on A, B, and C and put roadworks in. But actually, if we just taught our drivers how to share the road and use it as efficiently as possible, like all of a sudden, our roads would seem way less congested, in my opinion. Oh, look at that. That just sums this country up. There's a sign that says, snow, slow down. Oh, sorry, I didn't see.
there it is, the V12. Not snowing here, thank God, so that's good. But yeah, we've got Adam C in the Cobra. Hello, Zach. <laughs> Zach's driving the Pista today. What's it like to drive? Aggressive. Aggressive. Bit like that, but but also not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we've got the, the Ferrari, the Beamer, and the AC. And, uh, well, it's just going to be a laugh, isn't it? To just, I mean, what, a, what an unlikely assortment of cars to be convoying in. Uh, it doesn't really get much different than this. So, yeah, let's jump in the car and let's have some fun. Oh, and by the way, I did put a full tank of fuel in, as you can see here. Actually averaging uh, 22 miles per gallon at the moment, which is not bad at all. But I said it would be about 70 quid. It was actually, hang on, 87 pounds. So it isn't cheap to run this thing at all. While we're rolling out, got Adam, Adam C in the Cobra in front of me. And then just in front of that is Zach in the 48 Pista. It has to be said, I'm probably in the most comfortable <laughs> of options that we've got today. The Pista is obviously a sort of hardcore track focused 488 Ferrari. And that, that Cobra is obviously, well, it doesn't have a roof. I showed you my average was about 22, uh, 22 mpg, but yesterday I'm a little bit dishonest because I actually went on a long run, about 300 miles or so. However, today, obviously, the way we're driving, um, I don't think I'm going to get 22. So what I'm actually going to do is reset. Will it be single figures? I don't think so because we're actually going down the A3, which is a dual carriageway. But will it be in the 20s? Absolutely not. We'll find out anyway. Currently, as I've just reset it, 7.1. Excellent. Cheers. Oh, did you hear that? God, that piece that looks so good on the road, man. Here he comes, anyway. I think he wants to have a little play. <laughs> Anyone who says these, well, that's a proper V8, though, isn't it? I was going to say is anyone who says that these new V8 Ferraris sound terrible well they might not sound as good as the Ferraris of old but they still sound pretty fantastic when you actually hear one poor Adam C is getting left behind in his convertible <laughs> He's probably so cold. Oh no. Oh, we should slow down for him. We should. Straight piped one. <laughs> I'll go around the back. <laughs> I feel like I should probably just hide around the back somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> they'll be a space. Make some noises and they'll know. Oh, like, ah. it's straight piped. This is kind of awkward because my friends are in a Ferrari and a Cobra, and then I'm literally in a 7 Series. 
think about this moment. So we made it here in one piece, despite the odds with the weather. Although actually, having said that, they've not had any snow here and it's held out. But because I've driven through that heavy snow this morning, my 7 Series is absolutely filthy. It's actually quite disgusting and it's embarrassing. It's strange to be honest. I've not been at some sort of car meet for, well, pretty much over a year now. It's a very, very weird thing. I don't quite know how I missed this, but I, I, I did. Uh, this is a, a rose gold wrapped Bentley Continental. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've come out to the car actually to get something out of the fridge. <laughs> I remembered that I have San Pellegrino's. Oh, in the fridge. Here we go. There it is. Oh, ice cold. Ice cold. So amazingly, the 7 Series has been given and treated to a wash. Um, because what's going on is in here in the studio, there's basically a really nicely lit white room, which is obviously perfect for photo opportunities. And we're gonna take the 7 Series in there in just a moment once this GTR that's just hiding away in there comes out. But what they also have in there is a decibel reader and every car that goes in has been revving and trying to obviously create the loudest noise possible. So it'll be interesting to see, obviously with my straight piped V12, how loud it's going to be. Adam C and his Cobra just read a 120 decibels, which is pretty loud actually. I have to say, I was standing in there, it was loud. But I'll be interested to see if this actually generates a louder sound than that. how loud this thing is. I'm going to open the sunroof as well. I want it to be loud, but I'm not sure. Goodness, this is brilliant. You know, I've not been to a car meet for so long to actually be able to bring this to a car meet and see all of these people's reactions. I parked it in the in the studio, no one cared, no one was taking photos. Fair enough. As soon as I started revving it, everyone heard it in there. Do it again, do it again. I love this car, man. It is so funny. Well, everyone, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this sort of impromptu video. It's been so so cool to like go out to a car meet again now that the restrictions with COVID are, are easing. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna convoy back now with, with Zach and Adam, Zach in the Ferrari and Adam in the Cobra and end it there guys. But I'm super happy that this did 120.9 on the decibel reader, 120.9 and Adam's Cobra was 120. So this was louder. And I think the loudest thing today that went in the studio. So I'm pretty happy about that anyway. Thanks so much guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and I'll see you very very soon.